What is hacer lo que tú quieres? You can do anything you want to do, because you are worth it. Vales mucho. You can't be successful in the things that you want to do. Okay, now let me mention another thing. Eleanor Roosevelt says that no one can make me feel inferior without my consent. No one can make you feel or do anything or think anything that you want to that you don't want to think, feel, or do. And I'm pretty sure that you know this because, well, I tried to tell all the people that I know, everybody in the whole world through YouTube, Facebook, everybody I know in person, which I think I know all people. There's seven billion people on this earth, and I'm only one of them. And I tried to tell you all that you are worth it. You you can do anything you want to do, but as I say, locate two counties. So you don't believe that. You don't want to believe that. But, so I can't make you believe that, right? So how come other people are making you believe that you can't do it? How come other people are making you believe that you're not worth anything? How come other people are making you believe that the reason why you're not successful in your in life or your career or whatever is because you're a woman? If I can't make you believe in yourself, then how come other people can make you hate yourself? Tell me that. Can you answer that one? I want to know that one. Because if people can make other people believe and do things, then I should be able to make you believe that you're worth it. I should be able to make you believe that what is I stare locate two counties. You could do anything you want to do. Here is the thing. You got to do it. You have to believe. You have to not care about what other people think. You have to keep going and working without seeing the results that you want to see. Just like when I lost 200 pounds. When I lost 200 pounds, I didn't see results, you know. I woke up in one morning and said, I'm going to start working out. The next day, I still weighed 350 pounds, okay. <laughs> the next day, I still weighed 350, you know. A couple months later, I weighed 320, you know. It doesn't work that way. Things don't come overnight. And unfortunately for you, you want to see the things that you think you want right now. And you don't want the things that you think you want. You really want your big dream. I'm going to convince, I'm going to convince somebody. Somebody's going to get convicted of, off of this right here. Y'all don't hear me now. Y'all don't hear me now. <laughs> but my, my pastor used to say, Pastor Rick, I love you, man. I, I hope you're watching this. But he used to say, y'all don't hear me. Come on now. Y'all don't feel me now. <laughs> Feel me now. Feel me. <laughs> so, yeah, but the thing is, you could do anything you want to do, but you know, you have to believe in yourself. Nobody is going to believe in you the way that you do, except maybe me, okay? But that's because I need to believe in you because I believe in me. Michael Jackson said that in, in his song. Uh, but also, let me tell you, I think it's four words. Four words. Jay, Jay Shetty. Jay Shetty <laughs> said that there's four words that will kill your dreams. What will others think? I'm telling you right now, in the beginning, I was doing YouTube because I just wanted to be a better speaker. I never imagined that anybody would watch it, but I thank God for every person that watches. And my whole point of living in YouTube, everything that I do is for you. But anyway, I want you to know you're worth it and do whatever you want to do and just be happy in life, okay? Be happy, pro be prosperous and abundant in every area, mentally, emotionally, socially, spiritually, physically, and financially, obviously, I want you to have money and because you deserve it, you're worth it, but you have to work for it. You have to work your face off, okay? You have to work your face off, like Gary Vaynerchuk says. But my point is, let me go back to Jay Shetty. You know, what will others think? So after a while, you know, people started watching, right? And I started building up some men bleh, momentum. And um, I'm going to leave this in. I don't care. This is good stuff. Uh, so I started building up some momentum. And people were watching. It was so cool. Like, a lot of people were not subscribing, but I had a lot of people watching. And so I didn't know who a lot of these people were, but people were coming up to me. People were coming up to me on the street saying, I love your show. I love it. They were screaming, Liberty. They, when I was living in Columbia, man, it was some of the darkest time. I was so lonely. And uh, I would just be, it was, you know, 10 o'clock at night. And I'd be ready to go fall asleep. At the, um, I, well, I can't tell you where because when I go back there, I'm, if I'm still sleeping outside, I'll be sleeping at the same place. But I was ready to go sleep. And, uh, you know, people would be, Liberty, I love your show. And they'd be coming up, the kids would come up to me and, Miss Justice, I really love your show. 
<laughs> it was so cool, man. It was really great. But after that, you know, I started to get kind of cocky and be like, well, more people need to appreciate my show. More people need to watch. And, I mean, in my head, I was saying, you know, so I try to like, uh, I tried to just do stupid stuff, put it that way. And I tried to get other people to believe in me, not not telling me they believe in me, but to watch the show, to comment and sharing. And everybody was saying they would do it. And, you know, I got, and I, you know, I did that again in LA and I'm tired of that too. So I'm just making an amazing show that I'm going to be so good that they can't ignore me, you know? And, you know, Jay Shetty, I appreciate you because sometimes I forget some of the lessons I learned about, you know, what other people, I still think about what will other people think sometimes. It's very, not about, well, yeah, actually, when I do the show, like, sometimes I'm afraid to put this out because I have people watching that I really, really love and care for that are making comments that are like, um, you know, you know, my thing is, I just really don't care, you know. I don't care what anybody thinks about my show because it's amazing. I love watching myself because I see my progress over all this time. And I mean, you could say a negative comment. You can call me a whore like some people have called me. You could say that I'm being too harsh on people. Whatever you want to say, you could say it. I appreciate all your comments, even the hateful ones, even the really, really hateful ones that have made me cry in the past. You could do or say whatever you want, but you know what? I'm like Superman, okay? I'm impenetrable. You can't get to me anymore because God has this for me. I'm doing what's right. I'm doing what God wants me to do. I am not having sex for a marriage. I'm not drinking, using drugs. I don't even put one solitary pill in this body, not even close to one. I do not take aspirin. I do not drink coffee. And I am here for you. So if I'm going to, I can't attack you if you're sitting there attacking me because that would make me just like you. And if I was just like you, well, there's no way I could serve the world. There's no way that I could help you. Okay. And the main thing here that you need to know right now is that I love you and you are worth it. And you know what? You are wanted, you are needed, you are valued, you are loved, you are precious in the sight of God. And if nobody takes the time to tell you, then I'm here to tell you that, okay? And I, and one more thing, I'm gonna, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna start another one. Part three is next, okay? You are worth it. Valley's Mucho, comment below. Like, comment, subscribe. Sharing is caring on all your social media. You are worth it. Valles mucho.